They are Canada's sweethearts. They are Olympic darlings. Please welcome silver gold medalist Scott and Tessa, although they are golden in the hearts of the entire country. Welcome. Thank you for having us. You two are just as adorable in person. How does it feel to be celebrities in your own right? I mean, everybody loves you two. <laughs> Oh, I don't know about celebrities. <laughs> I don't know about that. It's strange. Have you had a chance to catch your breath yet? Uh, not really. I mean, we were we tried to go home after these Olympics because last time it was such a whirlwind, and our uh, kind of our goal of this the 2014 games was to really take in the moment, and we just wanted to be home with our family. So a little bit we we tried to catch our breath, but now it's catching up to us again. Let's talk about Sochi. Let's talk Ooh. about the stuff that people don't like talking about. Everybody's saying the fix was in, and it was <laughs> against. Tessa Virtue and Scott Moyer, <laughs> to that you say? You know what, that's part of our sport. It's a judged sport. Um, we've known all along that it, it, it's very subjective and uh, what can we do? I mean, we were so thrilled with our performances and I think now we realize how important that feeling is. Like that, mm -hmm. was, that was what it was about, that, that feeling that we had when we stepped off the ice. And, uh, you know, it feels like we won gold. When we come home and we talk to Canadians and we hear the support, uh, mm -hmm. it's really touching. And can I say that based on your reality show and everything we've heard and seen in the press, <laughs> Charlie and Meryl, I hate to say it, throwing it out there, I know you won't because you're too classy, but I'm not. They were not very likable people. <laughs> Great skaters, but not very likable human beings. A little cold. But you say things thawed out after the closing ceremonies you spoke more to them than you ever did in the last few years training is this true yeah I think uh, it was nice kind of after the rivalry was over we went to Moscow and did a show and uh, we don't really get very many chances to be just the four of us and we kind of took a chance and, and kind of could be the end of both of our careers so uh, yeah we we talked a little bit but you know the friendship uh, especially between Charlie and I was it's always been pretty good, but the rivalry made it tough for and sure. And you skated the best skate of your lives, truly beautiful out there. Everybody rooting for you, and then to be on that podium, what did that feel like? It was so special. It was actually the first time, I think, in Olympic history that figure skaters have gotten to have an outdoor medal ceremony. So we got to have our medals put around our necks and see our families. So, you know, I got to see my mom and, and hold my silver medal, and that's never really happened. So it was so... Um, nice to feel connected and to share that moment with people that are closest to us. How did you guys party? You were so disciplined with all your training and all your dieting. Did you fully shove your face in a piece of cake? Like, what did you do? Was it was it chocolate? What well, was it? There's McDonald's in the village. Yes, yes, so yes. We hit up that a few times and definitely chocolate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you deserve it. So what's next? People are saying, please, we love you too. Tell me you will continue skating together. And if so, in what capacity? And you are. Yeah, for sure. We're not done uh, skating yet. We're going to do Stars on Ice in April. Um, and its Canadian tour starts, I think, the, be the end of April and, and beginning of May, and then we kind of have to decide what we're going to do. Um, I don't think it's, it's quite the end yet, but uh, we'll have to wait and see. And you'll be friends for life for all those people. Always who are friends you. forever. <laughs> Pinky <laughs> swear on air right now. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> and I have to say, every time I look at you, Tessa, I say, if Amy Adams and Kate oh. Middleton had a baby, work oh, with wow. me here. Would it not be Tessa Virtue? <laughs> Do you get compliment. that a lot? Thank you very much. I get Katy Perry a lot. Look, check it out on the screen. Oh my gosh. Amy Adams, oh. take the face, and, the, and then Kate. That's so sweet. Well, thank you very much. You I get Katy Perry? I get Katy Perry quite I a lot. see that yeah. too. <laughs> Scott, who yeah. do you get? No, Tom Cruise? I, yeah, that, that happens all the time. <laughs> he probably gets Scott really Moore, actually. Yeah. Yeah. He gets Scott yeah. Moore. We cannot wait to see more of you two. We are so proud of you. We all love you. Like I said, you truly are Canada's darlings, and you always do us so proud. So continued success, Thank and you. enjoy the McDonald's. You've earned it on the daily. Also, check them out. They are the cover girl and boy on the cover of Hello Canada magazine, and all of the Olympic coverage and their experience is inside hellocanada.ca. I know we're going to see so much more from you all. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be back with more BT right after this.